Paul Pogba, Kareem Benzema, Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, Mazout Azil. Every year we hear or we read that they will respect Ramadan. And every year people are asking, how do they stay at the top of their game? So let's take a look at how Ramadan makes footballers stronger. Ramadan is one of the biggest events in the Muslim calendar, a holy month that draws on empathy and religious strength. But for professional sports stars, preparations have to be on point. Because when done right, fasting does not affect performance levels. Egyptian players, including Salah of course, have their experience of playing during fasting or after breaking their fast during Ramadan, because it's a thing they do over the years again and again. In the modern era of sports science, every professional footballer has access to nutritionists, dietitians, doctors, and even physical trainers, all of whom understand exactly what the body needs to perform at optimal levels. Ramadan has been observed for hundreds of years. So any sports or coaching professional is trained on how to guide stars through the holy period. And it all starts with ensuring a player's hydration is sufficient to last through the day, even if there are multiple training sessions. Foods that slowly release energy are also vitally important to ensure a player has enough in the tank on game days. We made an important study with a doctor of the Algerian Football Federation, and it was very positive. If you do it intelligently, then you can adapt perfectly. When you're at the elite level of sport, you're already focusing on diet and water consumption, and in Ramadan, that doesn't change. Footballers just have to adjust their approach. They can switch their workouts to the evenings rather than during the day, change their eating and drinking habits. After all, athletes know their bodies and understand how to adapt while observing Ramadan. They've been doing so for most of their lives. So we can be confident that they've had plenty of practice. Sure, the first few days might be tough, but the body quickly adapts and then performance and fitness levels improve. The first five days are tough, but after that, the body adapts. Of course, adapting to a new regime is only half of the experience. Ramadan also allows players to draw on a new strength, both mental and physical, because the holy month is of great importance, both to the player as an individual and to their religion. The spiritual or mental aspect can, in many ways, inspire and motivate the footballers further. By allowing them to be more focused, it gives them mental strength. Muslim players have fasted throughout their careers and still manage to reach the pinnacle of their sport. Some of the most talented players in the world are devout Muslims who observe the holy month every year and somehow they stay on top of their games. It's all about mental strength, commitment to their faith, and accepting the role of science and nutrition in their preparations. Former Premier League footballer Nathan Ellington once explained how Ramadan can help improve professionalism, especially during preseason. It also teaches self-control and restraint. This helps when it comes to preseason and you're trying to get back into shape. We've seen the players fasting during a World Cup and even elite European games. It's never stopped them from dominating. Of course, with so many Muslim football players, information is regularly shared on how to remain at optimum performance levels. Dr. Zafar Iqbal, a sports medicine specialist who has worked with the Premier League teams such as Crystal Palace, has released a public information sheet on how to ensure that you're keeping the body nourished while observing Ramadan and playing elite-level sport. And that's just one example. The Muslim community within the footballing world is wide-reaching and we can be sure they're sharing their experiences with one another so that Muslim footballers and athletes can continue to prosper while honoring their fast. Not every Muslim player is going to have the same approach to Ramadan. Fasting is an individual experience, but as we've seen with the likes of Pogba, Salah, Mane, and Benzema, it's more than possible to remain at an elite level while observing the holy month. And in most cases, it serves to make you a stronger player all year round. We here at Oh My Goal would like to wish a happy Ramadan to everyone partaking this month. And if you enjoyed this video, Oh My Goal recently explored if Muslim players are allowed to stop fasting for their games.